Yeah, we've had a partnership with RTL now going back almost three and a half years. Uh, they invested in our Series A and our Series B. And for them, they've been continuing to evolve their strategy. I think the one uh, thing about Europe is that each market is, is pretty unique and has different types of setups. You know, a lot of uh, uh, us U.S. companies, as, as we expand into Europe and we come to conferences like New Mexico, you start to understand that they operate in a way that is, the German market, for example, is run by the sales house IP Deutschland, but RTL Netherlands is run specifically by its own sales team, and they all have different partnerships in different parts of uh, Europe. And then there's also a pan-European presence, uh, which is called RTL AdConnect. Uh, which works with advertisers who want to reach, uh, run campaigns that extend from the UK to Italy to Spain to Germany, etc. So it's a it's a complicated landscape, and it's taken uh, taken us a little bit of time to figure out how we can apply our technology and platforms that we've been building in the U.S. to the European market. Audience-based buying platforms, right, are are something that have multiple use cases. I think the traditional use case of a of a DSP being a self-service platform that trading operations within an agency use is obviously still at scale and scaling here in Europe with, with the biggest DSPs in the world. What I think is new in what our use case is, is that we're creating a custom buying platform for RTL in the Netherlands. And the idea is that they're going to start to create their own packaging of very premium on-demand content. So RTL in the Netherlands has bought a company called Videoland. Videoland used to actually be kind of like a blockbuster video where you'd go and actually rent DVDs, but now it is a complete online portal for video. Um, you also combine that with all the various uh, stations and apps that, that RTL has in that market. And they're also partnering with other broadcasters, you know, similarly to how many broadcasters teamed up to create Hulu, and Hulu now is of course a hub for lots of different TV programmers, even beyond those who are, have ownership stake in it that kind of model is starting to take shape in Europe. And as it does, what we're seeing is media companies want to have a lot more ownership of how that content is accessed and what kind of targeting and contextual capabilities they enable around that content. And of course, being GDPR compliant and soon e-privacy compliant, uh, compliant is pretty obviously more than important, it's a requirement. And one of the only ways that they're going to be able to really execute at scale with both those regulatory frameworks in mind, as well as to create this kind of premium TV environment, means that they have to bring some of these platforms in-house and run them as an agency might do so. They will still do commercial deals and trade with the agencies. They may give agencies self-service access to these platforms, but it's becoming a part of a media company's operation, and that's a pretty new phenomenon. Yeah, our focus in the US has really shifted to workflow, data management, and measurement. So uh, we've continued to expand uh, some of our holding company relationships that are focused on unified TV and video planning. And we have just recently now been piloting and are rolling out a cross-screen measurement platform, which uh, I think is really unique in the fact that it is impression level measurement across any device, and it measures linear TV, digital video, but even other forms of digital, right, is something that can be uh, served by a ad server that is in an ad log somewhere. We're working to get all those impressions so that you have a unified look at your total reach. So if you're trying to reach in-market auto intenders on TV and digital, how many of them you act did you actually reach? What was the du deduplication? Um, what was the unique reach of each platform, each app? That level of granularity. And then now we're actually tying it to business outcomes. So location-based conversion, actual sales data coming from a brand, these are all uh, pretty hot new areas and when we're going to have a formal launch and a lot more detail coming up around Ad Week and TV Week this fall. But we are piloting it and working on uh, our first campaigns with several large advertisers and we're pretty excited about it.